So we've got Old Faithful loaded up. We're gonna take the gray truck today. We've got two jobs to go do. I wanted to take the wrecker uh, for the first one, and then I got a call for the second one. That means I had to take this one. Uh, I think the wrecker would have been longer for the first one because we got a car down a long drive. We got to pull out. I'm not quite sure how far it is, but this has very long lines on it. But the second one, this truck ain't gonna work, and when we get there, we'll show you why. So we're loaded up, got all the gear I think we need, and we're gonna get going. Oh, it's windy. Uh, we are headed out uh, to the hills on the west side of town here to uh, go help a property manager, it sounds like. Uh, drove down the driveway into one of the properties uh, she manages, did what she needed to do, and could not make it back up out of there. So go see if we can winch her car up out of there or maybe put the chains on, drive down, and tow her up out of there. We're not sure yet. You gotta go see how far it is down the driveway, if there's any curves in it or weird stuff like that. And we'll just basically figure out a plan when we get there. So. We're heading that way, let's go see what we get. Okay, we just made one turn and uh, you can see conditions changed fast. So if you're wondering how someone got tricked into going down a driveway they can't get out, uh, this is how. Look at that. One more turn, totally fine. Tricky, tricky. Okay. This, uh, by the spin out marks right here that slide back down the hill, I would say this is our car, which is good because the top of the hill is right there, so I'll just set up and winch it up. Ooh, I almost fell. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, they're not here yet. They actually uh, got stuck here earlier today. Someone came and got them and got them out of here, so they're on their way back right now. So I will get the winch hooked up, and then when they get here, I can just Pull them up. So I forgot my ice chocks in the other truck, so we're just gonna throw some chains under here like this. Kind of all like that. On each tire, then back up onto them and then everything will stay still. Hopefully. I mean, tire chains are tires and chains, right? Same thing. It'll work. Okay. Get this out. Okay. Come with me. Come on, a little farther, we're right there. There we go. We're just gonna grab right around this one A-arm here, because it's gonna be a very light pull, and uh, there's no tow hook, so that'll work. Uh, we're just gonna choke around this thing, like, like so, and this goes out the front. Hey, it worked. Now we just take our hook and hook it. They're not here yet, but I could probably just drag it to the top. I'll wait though. Man, I really like this truck. I really want to start driving it more. I want to kind of like update it and start driving it a lot more. It's just so handy. Okay. Now we just pull it up the hill. Oh, she was all worried that she's got to leave in like 20, 30 minutes and she's going to slide into us. Like, if we're still here in 20 or 30 minutes, we got bigger problems. <laughs> this winch is very slow and very noisy. Okay. Like I said, 
this winch is very slow and uh, I'm impatient sometimes so we're just gonna pull it up this truck is gonna get I have a winch plate for the front and an apex winch I'm gonna put on it that's gonna solve that issue and be much nicer so no well, that was easy I figured that was faster than waiting for that slow winch. Got her done. Okay, got everything put away. That was nice and easy. And then, uh, come on. Go back into high range. And we are headed off to the next recovery. That is the reason we are in this truck and not uh, anything else I own. And you will see why. And we're off a whole one minute down the road where it's just plain wet road and you can drive no problem. Very different from up there on the hill. And it's even different just 10 minutes over here where we are apparently back in the North Pole. Uh, we got another, I think, six, seven miles to go out this road, which is probably gonna be like this the whole way. And then uh, go find uh, victim number two. In case you were wondering, in the daylight, uh, this road right here is where we pulled that uh, travel trailer and Suburban out of. Looks like there's still a car stuck up there behind it, and it's going to be there till springtime because that is when that gate opens back up. Walking in a winter wonderland, getting copyright strikes for singing songs. Oh my. Uh, let's go look at this. There's a one lane rip bridge down here, and there's a steep hill leading to it. So, yeah, we're gonna put chains on before we go down there. Okay, chains are on. Not like a great job of putting them on, but I'm not going up and down the road at speed. I just need to get down that hill without uh, ending up in that creek. Okay. Apparently two other tow companies have uh, tried to come out and get this car, but this bridge has a uh, weight limit and is very narrow. So they could not get to it on the other side. The problem is, there is no such thing as a tow truck that uh, is under the weight limit of this bridge. So that is why we took the pickup today because the only other vehicle I own that is under the weight limit is, well, my tan Jeep, it's on tracks right now, and my red Cherokee that is at Nate's shop still, just saying. And this looks like our car. Okay, this should be a fairly easy one. We'll go look at it and see. How's it going? I'm pretty good, how are you? Good, I'm Casey. Courtney. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So, just slid off the edge right there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, it dented it pretty good, too. Oh, you know what, though? So how long has it been here? Uh, like, oh, gosh, since yesterday at, like, 6 o'clock oh. in the evening. Okay. Yeah. Um, should be pretty straightforward. I'll turn around cool. and just back up over there. We'll grab that wheel and just pull it sideways. That way it comes off the tree without doing any more damage. Cool. yeah. I don't want to go forward and back and tear up. Like your headlights are still oh, good right and all on. that. Yeah, if true. we went backwards, it'd probably shatter this headlight. So true. we want to go That's why that way. A <laughs> <laughs> don't, yeah. don't get talking crazy words just yet. <laughs> uh, we'll borrow these people's driveway. Okay, we're just gonna back up the hill here and get on the other side of it. I think like right here-ish. See how that goes. 
we are gonna want not that we are gonna want this Okay, you wanna get it started up? Yeah. So get it started up and then just leave it in park. Okay, that should be on the road enough. Yeah. Okay, back up like a foot. Yeah. Okay, stop there. Now just easy, see if you go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, Go ahead and uh, pull a little farther up just to make sure. Yeah. Perfect. All right, yeah, you're free. Thank you so very much. So this piece of plastic's gonna see if I can push it out of the way. Because yeah. it popped back, it's just gonna rub on your tire and yeah. make noise. It's not doing anything. Right. Yeah, maybe I'll get like a zip tie and punch a hole in this thing or something. It's not gonna hit the fender or anything that's gonna hurt it. So it'll be noisy, but it's yeah, okay. okay. I can always yeah. cut it out too. I can get crafty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lights are still there. That's the yeah. important part. So yeah, you're good to go. Thank you so very much. No problem. Okay. We will go back into four high. All right. So you're all good. All right. Do you have a good one? So, tiny little bridge. All right. Check out that old international. Been like that. All right. So I'm gonna stop and pull the chains off of this truck and then we are going to talk about this truck. And just like that, chains are off. It's almost the same as having auto chains. Okay, let's go. Okay, this truck was a uh, little bit of a beat up work truck when I bought it. It was a contractor's truck, so it had dings and dents all over it and scratches and scuffs and all that stuff. And then I bought it and I put another, since then, 100,000 miles of mostly work truck use on it, which is crazy to think, but I read it 100,000 miles and now it's got more scratches and dings and some dents and I put the utility bed on the back and it's been a pilot car for my heavy haul trucks, it's been a service truck, it's been a welding truck. And I'd really like to turn it into a bit better of an off-road recovery truck like this. Not like some crazy off-road build. I want it to be able to cruise up and down the highway, be a very comfortable daily driver because this, this is a far more comfortable truck to drive and I very much prefer to drive this than anything else I own, including my fancy new Ram with all the, the Laramie package and all that crap. I would rather drive this truck all day, every day. It's just more comfortable, it's simpler. I just, I like it. So I'm thinking after this winter, once things calm down a bit, uh, I take it into Elite Fleet. I have them put some gears in it and gear it down because it's, it's 373 gearing on 37 inch tires with a worn out 200,000 mile gas engine, it struggles. So re-gear it, uh, see what the engine needs, a refresh at that time, put lockers in the axles, and then uh, 
replace every single suspension and steering bushing in this thing because it's a Dodge and that means every one of them is wore out. So have all that redone and just make this a really nice daily drivable truck that is also good at doing some off-road recovery. Uh, I have a winch plate for the front, same one's on my Ram. I'm going to put an apex winch in it so it'll have a solid mount front winch. Uh, it's got the receiver mount winch in the rear with the plug-ins back there. And I think, I don't know if I want to build some sort of kind of boomish setup in the back or a dual winch setup in the back, something. I don't know. Uh, the receiver mount winch works great, so it might just stay that. But uh, the utility boxes are just so handy. And just make this a nice, everyday, drivable truck that can get out into some, some good places and do recoveries when I don't need, like, the track Jeep but still need something like heavy enough to do some pulling. So that's the plan for this truck. And that is enough of me jabbering because I would bet like 70% of you have already dropped off. And in like a week, I'll go back in the analytics of this video and look and be like, yep, I was talking to myself. But uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed that little two for one video. Uh, two very simple, easy little winch outs. And that's two people back on their way, uh, happy as can be. And then uh, I'm gonna head home hopefully get good dinner with the girls before uh, the phone rings again and we're back out in the snow tonight. So for now, that is it. We'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I'm doing this cool in screen thing where like it puts a video like right there and right there. So like go click on one of those two videos so like I know it's working. Like now would be a good time because you know the video's over. So that one or that one. Thank you.